medieval warriors fighting over? The fertile lands surrounding the town of Montefalco in Italy. Things are a little quieter now, but the land still yields some of the finest grapes in Italy. This castle has a new job. It's the winery of Rocca de Fabri. Uh, this is our testing room, and uh, now you can see there is uh, a test. I um, show you this uh, old book, and uh, on this book is uh, drove uh, our uh, fortress. This might look like a giant piece of art, and in fact it has the signs of the zodiac printed on the corners, but its true purpose it's a giant trap door that leads downstairs, and this is how they get the tanks down there. Now we go down 7 meters or 22 feet under the courtyard where we are before. The Rosso di Montefalco stay one year half in the big barrels. Now we pass to the old fortress in the new area through this tunnel. This is the old wall of the fortress. You see it's really big and it's the reason because we are the, the constant temperature in the cellar every year, every day. This tunnel through the old area with the new area and we pass under the village fabric. Down the tunnel and just like a rabbit out the other end, into the vineyard. Uh, the history uh, of the Sagrantino red wine is important. They think uh, it's brought in from Benedictine monks that used during the mass and uh, the name Sagrantino because is from Latin sacro, so Sagrantino red wine. It's from these grapes grown only a few meters from the winery that their wine is made. The first wine we are going to try is Rosso di Montefalco. Very rich, ripe fruit, vanilla. The most important wine of the company is Sagrantino di Montefalco. Oh yeah, full bodied wine. Very nice taste. Look, look at the color for a wine that's 12 years old. Salute, Salute. and cheers! cheers. <laughs>